John in Richardson, Texas, writes to me and he says, I, Paul, you know, I'm confused. <laughs> John, join the crowd. <laughs> Reading all the technical specs and other reviews of this amplifier, and he's referring, I'm sorry, to the, the Stellar S300, an amplifier that we make. It's a stereo amp. I see where it says Class A, but then there's all this hybrid stuff, well, linear this, linear that. Now, I already have a NAD C399 Class D and looking for a second Class A or AB to my use while using my NAD as a pre. Your amp fits my price range, and I don't dislike the NAD, but I want a second option at times. Sorry for the long-winded question. I just don't have unlimited funds, so going super expensive is not in my budget. Well, that is true for most people, so don't feel bad about that, John. Uh, yeah. So what is all this stuff about Class A and the S300? So let's be really clear. In the Stellar series of amplifiers, the amplification section where the watts are made, that's Class D, okay? We use the ICE modules. So that is Class D. Excellent sounding Class D, really well designed, great sounding. What we do differently than most companies who just simply buy the ICE module or the Hypex module and they hook it up to a pair of XLR or RCA jacks on the input, bing bada boom, you're done, right? We don't do that. We build what's called a hybrid and that's how we tailor the sound. So by that I mean that we design a completely independent power supply, the whole bit, for the input stage. Now the input stage for the S300 and for the M700 is this hybrid Class A input stage. It uses MOSFETs, all kinds of cool stuff. And that's the Class A part. And that's where the sound of the amplifier comes from. Now we take the output of that and feed that into the Class D amplifier, which faithfully reproduces, reproduces that sound and out you go and you get great sound. It sounds remarkably better than if we had just gone into the ICE module. Great module, but as a standalone, it's not very good sounding. So in the M1200, that too is an ICE power 1200 watt module, but instead of a Class A MOSFET uh, discrete based input stage, it again is a hybrid, but there we use vacuum tubes. So that's the input stage for the M1200. So that's the hybrid layout. M1200, all amps are Class D output, but on the S, uh, uh, the <laughs> I'm losing track of all these stupid numbers, S300 and M700, it's the hybrid Class A stage that sets the sonic qualities of the amplifier. Okay, that's, that's good. I hope I've thoroughly confused you now. <laughs> all right, talk to you later. Bye.